Hi, I'm Morgan Doremus with RT Book Reviews, and I'm here today with YA slash romance slash a lot of other thing <laughs> author, Rachel Kane. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be here. And I, and I say slash because you you write in many different genres. A lot of urban fantasy. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of like vampires and other um, supernatural elements in your right. writing. Would you say that that's maybe the thing that binds your books together? I think so. I've actually tried to write books that didn't have a supernatural element to them, and I couldn't. Uh, even the one that I wrote that was supposedly just straight romantic suspense, I had to make, uh, I had to, to have the character uh, a curandera, which is, uh, which is something from, from Mexican culture, that, that as, as her spirit guide had her dead son, so I had ghosts in there. <laughs> and it was supposed to be a non-paranormal book, but I couldn't quite pull it off without that. So I have to, it's like my little touchstone, I have to put it in there. Yeah. Okay. So we're here today because you have a book releasing in your Morganville series, mm -hmm. and it is the ninth book. Yes. Ghost Town. Um, tell me a little bit. What What has Claire been up to? What are What are we going to be getting Ooh. into in this one? Oh boy. Uh, Claire has from from the time that she came to Morganville, she started out as being relatively innocent and uh, and young, very and young. very young. Very young. And I think over the course of nine books, she's matured considerably <laughs> <laughs> because now she really isn't taking any crap from the Mean Girls. Um, no, because she, when she first when she first went off to school, she's a genius. Yes, so she yes. went at sixteen. She left home. She went to college at sixteen, mm -hmm. and uh, since then, she's she's sort of in an I guess I would call it an individual study program, perhaps, with uh, with the the preeminent vampire scientist named Mernon, and Mernon uh, now has has uh, well, he's not too stable, really. Um, yeah. That's a kind way of putting it. He's yeah. a he, he's sometimes very nice and charming, and sometimes not. But uh, Claire and Mernon are going to sort of come to loggerheads over something that we've been talking about for several books because now they have to fix this machine. And uh, Claire has always been afraid that he's going, his ultimate plan is to put her brain in the machine. <laughs> Something that I think all teenage girls <laughs> yeah, need to well, worry you know, about, really. It, yeah, it, it happened. You know, it's right up there with not getting a date to the prom, really. Right, exactly. Machine, <laughs> machines taking over. And, and I know in, in Ghost Town that we are going to be dealing with a lot of uh, uh, loss, memory loss, and other, yeah. and other sorts of loss. And I guess that's maybe the overarching theme for it this is. newest. Well, I, I wanted to ex explore a little bit of the idea about if you start losing your memories, are you still the same person? Uh, is, is your personality going to be significantly different if you don't remember that intervening time? And uh, I, I think that uh, it was really interesting to explore that and sort of deconstruct the characters a little bit to before we met them um, in the first book. So that's kind of where, where I was going with it. Okay, and if you check your website, we actually know that there's going to be at least 12 in the series yes. because we've got the dates for, for the next couple ones. In your head, do you know when you sat down to write Claire's first book, Glass Houses, mm -hmm. did you know that this was going to go on for 12 plus books? Did you already have kind of an arching um, you know, storyline or is this you, are you flying by the seat of your pants with this one? I, I, I don't know how you plan for 12 books because in publishing, you're just grateful to have one book and then maybe three, and then maybe six, and I keep thinking, and now that's that they're they're not going to want any more. But it's it's done really it's done really well, and it's really fun to write. And I'll keep writing them as long as you are so I'm humble. Fun. I was going to say, you go to your profile on the RT website. You've got all <laughs> these top picks. You're best-selling author in how many languages? You've got <sighs> options for you know taking the Morganville uh, vampire series. Um, you've also you're you're now at Harvard. We just did you just yes. did a guest post That's where right. you talked about um, Harvard now mm -hmm. has a as a uh, vampire class and and yours is one of the required reading. So how can how can you be so humble when you have so much success in in the literary world? Well, because I didn't always have it. That's for sure. I I, I started out. Uh, when, when we talk about Rachel Kane as being a fictional character, there's a reason for that. Um, my success was, you know, moderate at first, and then it sort of fell off a little bit. And I've had to change my name three times in the course of my writing career just to sort of try to get started and get to a place where I could really get a foothold. So I learned humility early on, and I'm going to stay there. <laughs> 
Well, because I know you just finished up uh, an adult series where you were, wrote The Weather Warden, mm -hmm. and I know that was hugely popular. Your The last book in the series was probably everyone's favorite. At least that's what <laughs> it who, seems people like who it. I talk to. It seems that's, like it, yeah. And, and so, like, how does that feel after so long to say goodbye to these characters that you have been following? You know, it's 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 great to finish a series in a sense for a writer because you want to you want to wrap it up and really make it the biggest book and the one that is the most satisfying out of the whole series and that's a goal and then when you finish it you realize that you're not going to do that again and that's a little sad so there's a little bit of, of both that one was really difficult because the Weather Warden series is so big and so epic and has so many characters and I wanted to try to wrap it up as conclusively as I could uh, because I'm known for cliffhangers as you might know. Yes. I think I think all <laughs> of the viewers out there know exactly what you're talking yes. about. The, I, if they haven't thrown a book across the room and and, <laughs> and screamed at me at least once. And then gone onto your website and, yes. and must know when the next one that, will, the, will arrive. That's the goal, of course. But uh, I, I, I actually took my training from silent movie serials. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I'm the perils of Pauline. Uh, but I, I, I do think that it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun for me to write that way, and uh, hopefully it's a lot of fun to read, too.